today's lesson, we're going to calculate probabilities from a two-way table. So we need to remember how to calculate a probability of a fraction. Well, the probability of an event is found by the number of desired outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes that are possible. Probability of a girl. The desired outcomes are, there are 20 girls, 8 which was the school and 12 which do not. So that is 20. And there are, are a total of 30 possible outcomes, which is 20 girls and 10 boys. So 20 out of 30. And we can simplify this fraction by dividing both by 10. So we have 2 thirds. The probability that a person walks to school, so probability of walking. The total number of outcomes is still 30. And we know that walk are 3 out of the 8, the boys out of the girls, which is 11. So question C, of the people who walk to school, a boy is chosen. So this changes our outcomes. So now we're only looking at the people who walk, and there are 11 people who walk, so we're looking at these people. So walking, and that has a total number of 11 possible outcomes, and we want the desired outcomes being a boy, so that is 3 out of 11. There are 3 boys who walk to school. So question D, we're now looking at the total number of people who are boys. So there are a total of 10 boys, and we want the probability of not walking. So out of the 10 boys, probability of not walking and is 7, and that is 7 tenths. Okay, let's move on. The two-way table shows the gender and eye colour of students in a class. A student is chosen at random from a class. Find the probability that the student is a girl, has blue eyes, and part three is a boy with green eyes. If you want to pause the video to attempt this and then unpause it when you're ready. Okay, for question one. So the probability the person is a girl. Well, in total, there are 12 with blue, eight with brown, and 4 with green, so that is a total of 24. So the probability of a girl is out of 24 possible outcomes, we've got 5 and 3 and 1, which is 9, 9 24. And we can simplify this fraction by dividing both by 3, and we have 3 eighths. For part 2, the probability that a person has blue eyes, well, there are still a total number of 24 outcomes, and the blue eyes is 12. So 12 divided by 24, we can simplify as 1 half. And part 3, is a boy with green eyes, so boy and green and that is going to be 3 out of 24 which simplifies to make 1 eighth. Okay for question C. So a girl is chosen at random. So now we are changing the total number of outcomes. There are a total of 5 add 3 add 1 which is 9 girls and does not have brown eyes. So you can have blue or you can have green and that is 6 ninths. And we can simplify this fraction by dividing both by 3 and that makes 2 thirds. Okay, so let's move on to a two-way table which we have to complete. So if you want to try this question, um, pause the video and then unpause it when you're ready. So 100 students visited a youth group over three days. 
The two-way table shows the information about new students. We're going to complete the two-way table. There are lots of ways of starting this. I'm going to start it by working out this value, which is going to be 800 take away 43. And that comes out as 57. I can work out this value by doing 30 take away the 16. So a total students take away the 16 boys, which is 40. I can work out this value by doing 100 take away 34 take away 30. And that is 36. There must be 15 boys on Monday because 21 add 15 makes 36. And I can work out this value by doing 57 take away 14 take away 21, which is 22. Girls on Wednesday, and the final value is going to be 34 take away 22, which is 12. And I want to make sure this is correct, so I'm going to do 15 add the 12 add the 16, and that should give me 43, which it does. So the question B, the probability that my student is a girl is visited on a Wednesday. Well, we have a girl and Wednesday. There's a total of 100 possible outcomes. And a girl on a Wednesday is 22, which simplifies to make 11 50ths. For question C, a boy is chosen at random. Write the probability that the student is a boy who did not visit on Friday. So we've changed our total possible outcome because now we're only looking at the number of boys. And there are 43 boys. And this will be out of 43 that the boy did not visit on Friday. So that could be a Monday or a Wednesday, which is going to be 15 or 12. 27. Okay, do you want to try this question? Um, you can pause the video and unpause it when you're ready and then we'll go through it. Okay, for question A. So we can work out the, the number of males who, cho who chose geography. This is seven. And we can work out the number of males who chose history by doing 36 take away the 7 take away the 19 and this is 10. We can work out the total religious study students which is 80 minus the 23 minus the 28. This is 29 and it must be 10 religious study students now a female. For question B, the probability that the student is a female who chooses religious studies well, there are 80 people in total, and 10 of them were female. So 10 over 80, which can be simplified to make 1 eighth. And for the last one, question C, the probability that the male chooses history, and this is of the male guests. So our sample is now chosen to 36 males. And the male chooses history is 10 out of 36, which simplifies to make 5 18ths. Okay, the last question. A manager is working out a schedule for 40 students. 22 people want to study English, 21 to want to study engineering, and 5 people want to study mathematics and computer studies. A manager selects a student at random. What is the probability the student chose English and computer studies? So if you want to try this question, um, pause the video and you can unpause it when you're ready. Okay, 22 people want to study English. So 22 people here. 21 people want to study engineering, which is a total here. And five people want to study mathematics and computers. We can work out the total here, which is going to be 40 take away 22, which is 18, which means 13 people must have chosen mathematics and engineering. 
Eight people would have chosen English and engineering by doing 21 to grade 13. And 14 people would have chosen English and computer studies with 19 choosing computer studies in total. What is the probability the student chose English and computer studies? Well, that is 14 people out of a total sample of 40. And this simplifies to make 7 twentieths. Okay, I hope you found that useful. The next lesson will be on expected frequencies from a probability. Thank you for watching and take care.